Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nita I'm Mary. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping back by. So in today's video, guys, I have something to review. And this is the Misa or Misha Aqua Sun Gel with SPF 50. Before we get into this video, I want all of you to hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment your thoughts if you have already purchased and used this product. Would like to know and hear from you. Don't forget to like and share this video to anybody that you know that is interested in purchasing this Misa Aqua Sun Gel. And yes, guys, with that being said, let's dive right into this video. This is the Misha Aqua. I hope that's how it's been pronounced. Misha, Misa <laughs> Aqua Sun Gel. And it has SPF 50. And we're just going to do it on a bare skin. Normally, I would do my skincare. I'll apply it after I've done my skincare. Apply some face serums and moisturizers. This is usually the last thing I apply on my skin. But let's just apply it on a bare skin without any other skincare to just see how well it holds and how it looks and if it's moisturizing on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my face with a wipe just to make sure because this early this morning earlier this morning i did my skincare routine earlier this morning i did my skincare routine but i just want to see how let's see how it holds without all of that And my brows are just dark because um, I tint my brows from time to time. They're not microbladed. I normally tint it on my own. I'm going to make a video on how I tint my brows. But besides that, I'm going to show you guys the amount that I take. So, so <laughs> I didn't even show you guys, but... I take this much. I didn't show you guys, but let me show you guys again because how I'm, a, I'm such a bad reviewer. So now I'm going to apply more than I should, but it doesn't matter. I take about this much. And sometimes it varies. If I know I'm going to be outside, outside, like the sun would hit me so bad that day um i will take more but if i know it, i'm going to be stepping outside once in a while i'll take less it all depends but i take enough okay guys so you guys saw it like it was easy to blend sometimes i just feel like it leaves a white cast for some minutes but all you have to do is to like blend it in keep rubbing it in until like everything spreads evenly and it sinks into your skin you guys can see it is so moisturizing you guys can see how my skin is looking now like on its own it adds like this very beautiful glow to your skin and I just like it. Can you guys see? It just adds a very beautiful glow to the skin. And I just love it for that. It's also very perfect for if you want to um, use it as a foundation before you apply your makeup. Like, I mean, a surface. Because you know you have to do your skincare before your makeup. But applying just this sunscreen can give you that flawless base. Um, and just add some shine to your makeup so that it's not too dry. So, so far so good. I love it. Um, this is not my first time using it, so I'm going to give you guys an honest review. I just feel like this is a must-have. Um, it retails for 8,000 Naira. Some places they sell 9,000 Naira, but I bought this for 8,000 Naira. And it contains, it's the Aqua Sun Gel SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Um, 15 ml 1.69 ounce and yeah it's the misha all around all around safe block aqua sun gel 
with SPF 50. Everything is in Chinese, so honestly, you can't really see the ingredients, obviously. I don't know if that's even an ingredient, but everything at the back is in Chinese. And yeah, I think it holds pretty well. It's actually a very good sun gel, like sunscreen. So if you're looking for like, this is honestly the best sunscreen I've ever used. Um, I've used quite a few. I have this one. And this is F SPF 30, so I stopped using it. I had to upgrade and now I have to upgrade it to SPF 100. But so far, so good. I love this. Honestly, they tell you um, 50 ml and you know the packaging is this big. Not too big, but this big. Trust me, you're getting a product worth of this. Like it's not going to be full. You're going to get something that starts from here. Maybe about that line or even less. Um, and I'm giving this review because I have used this for quite a long time. Like you guys, I'm going to show you guys so that you guys can see how much I've used. I don't know if it's not picking up on camera, but what, what I have left is so small. It's about this. Okay, now you guys can see it here. You guys can see how small how small it is. But I love this sunscreen so much. Like it's so always my go-to when it comes to like SPF 50. I love this sunscreen. Um the only problem I have is that after a while the shine goes off. Like you see how it adds so much shine to my face. After a while, the shine goes out off, but it's not greasy at all all it's not greasy just adds shine and when you touch your skin after application your skin still like your skin will feel dry like i'm saying if you use it alone without a moisturizer your skin will feel dry but it will definitely feel shiny like it will look shiny but it, it might feel dry so obviously you want to use it with your moisturizers and do your skincare this is normally the last product i apply my skin before i head out so with that being said We've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. If you've ever tried this Misa or you're planning on purchasing it or you just want to get a review, let me know your thoughts. If you've used it before, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And yeah, let's see. Let's know because I think it works for different people. I have a combination skin and like I just love how it feels on my skin. If you have an oily skin, it might be different for you, but let's all interact in the comments and tell me your thoughts on it, if you've ever used it, or if you have anything negative to say about it, let's hear from you in the comments, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.